Greetings humans, this is Aramis from Archil Archives and today I'm going to gush about one of my favourite shows that I've watched this year so far. It's called Arsenal Military Academy and it's a Chinese drama that's free to watch on the site and app iQIYI. Uh, there are four episodes on YouTube if you want to give it a try before you commit. But it's about a girl whose brother dies, her older brother. His dream was to join Arsenal Military Academy and protect China from the Japanese who are invading. And she meets other characters like Gu Yanzhen, Huang Song, Shen Junshan, and they train, become friends while getting caught up in the plot of the Japanese to take over Shunyuan, the city that they're in. And we see a lot of different things, like there's a question of should a soldier follow orders if they know that what they're doing is wrong, and the horrible justice system, like when they wanted to frame Xie Xiang for killing a man, and they wrote a confession on her behalf, and when she wouldn't sign it, they signed it for her, and then said they were going to execute her, and then they held a hosti- the students hostage at one point, and tell them to admit crimes they've already signed confessions for on their behalf, which sounds pretty realistic to me. Anyway, uh, let me explain what's going on in the video. I am drawing five of my favorite characters. Well, these are kind of the main characters, except for Shen Tingbai, but we'll get to him. Uh, from left to right is Shen Junshan, Gu Yanzhen, Xie Xiang, who is pretending to be her brother, Xie Liang Chen, Xu Manting, and Shen Tingbai. And I love them. <laughs> I really, really love them. I think that the casting was perfection for this story, for this show, because Toby Lee played the cool Sh- uh, Shen Junshan and Shu Kai, but he tends to play bad boys a fair amount. Uh, Bai Lu. I thought she was a veteran actor, only to realize that she hadn't really acted in much before this show. She was so good and she played a boy so well. My mother didn't even realize that she was a girl until I showed her a picture that was from uh, Love is Sweet, another Chinese drama. But yeah, she's really good. I also love... um, Bu Jiayi as Chu Manting, I thought she played the character to perfection. And she even sang the song that Wu Jiayi sings, that Chu that Manting sings during the during the show, because she's an actor and a, and a singer. And the weird thing though is that they picked Hong Yao to play Shen Ting Bai. I don't know why they would have picked him because as a fan of Hong Yao, I've seen him play a dimwit, a dimwit basketball player, a cowardly failure of a businessman, a kind of, well he was cool but then he got creepy fashion designer. So I, I never would have guessed that he would play such an amazing, amazing that he, he could play Shen Ting Bai. Like, Shen Ting Bai is the coolest out of all of them. And I love him. And another thing, Hong Yao in real life looks like an e-boy. He has piercings and long, a- long hair and wears flashy clothes and stuff. Why did they cast him to play Shen Ting Bai? He played him to perfection, but I can't think of a reason why you would think he would play Shen Ting Bai so well. But anyway, um, I love how they treated female characters in the show. Even in romance movies, there's a lack of female characters and the guys tend to treat them really bad. In this show, they treated the female characters re- really well. Even the, gu- the guys treated them really well. Um, even after they find out that she- Yang Chen was a girl, they didn't really treat her any differently. And... Shen Ting Bai was engaged to Shu Manting and but she fell in love with another character and he just went up and asked her do you want to get married to me and she was like no 
and he went to her father and broke off the engagement and he even helped her go back to Shanghai and find to meet the guy that she liked because he would prefer if she came back to him than force her to stay and I I really love how they did that Um, I also really loved how open everyone was about what they feel um, especially when it came to the romance there was never any leading on Shen Ting Bai was in love with Human Ting and everybody knew it which led into one of the coolest scenes when the guy who was the president of the Japanese Chamber of Commerce went after Shu Manting and she was missing and he went to confront him. This scene was so cool. But I love how even when Shu Manting fell in love with the other guy, the guy was like, I'm sorry, we can remain friends, but I'm in love with somebody else. There was no leading on, which is common in a lot of shows with romance and I hate it, but I love that it wasn't there. So let's go on to a few of the problems that I have because as much as I enjoyed this story and there were some really intense episodes I think there was too much going on at once and I think that some of the storylines should have been cut with some of the side characters and given more screen time to the main characters because Shen Ting Bai was wasted in the show and I'm not just talking as a fan of Hong Yao because I'm a fan of Hong Yao, but there were times in the show where the kids would get into trouble or something would happen to Shu Manting and I would think, why wasn't Shen Ting Bai told of this? Why wouldn't, wasn't his men around? This doesn't make any sense. And I know it's because there was so much going on, they couldn't work him into the scene, but he spends most of the story giving a middle finger to the Japanese that when his brother has to go do this assassination thing, to me it would have been more sense to, for him to just go home and be like, Shen Ting Bai, I need these people killed and if I don't, I'm going to be kicked out of school. And Shen Ting Bai would have been like, give me the names, I'll have somebody finish it by morning. And yeah, so I I think that they really should have given more screen time to the main characters. And just in general, it felt like they were putting so much story into each episode that it was getting kind of hard to track the storylines. And I think that if they had made the show more episodic, with each episode being uh, having its own goal, with the overarching goal, that would have been better. But then that leads us to another problem, which I mentioned in my writing vlog. The main character has no main goal. (laughs) Okay, so she had a goal to enter the military academy. But once she was in the military academy, at the end of episode one, that meant that her goal was over. Over the course of the story, she gets a few other goals, but they're minor. But there's no real goal taking us through the whole story. Unlike in Ham- Hanakimi, where her goal was to get the guy to go back to uh, high jump, or in Guardian, where it was literally to save the world by defeating the bad guy, there was really no overarching goal. And that was a huge problem in the ending episode because it felt like an ending to her friend's story, not an ending to her story. And that would have been fixed had they given her a stronger goal and uh, I'm not exactly sure how like what goal they would have given her because she left the academy in the end but I really think they could have done better with that Uh, yeah so some of the there were plot lines that kept coming in and new characters getting introduced and I was like we don't need this we don't need there was a romance that was really sad with this guy and a girl who has a bad memory and she has writings out in her notebook and he ripped out the pages with his information because he knew he was going to die because it, it, a war is going on and 
she she's walking through the graveyard to visit her parents' graves, and she sees his name, and she starts crying, and she doesn't know why she's crying, and it's a really really sad scene. But it was unnecessary to the story, and I really think they should have given more weight to other parts. I do like the the death of one of the characters. Some of the deaths felt a bit cheap, especially this one in the end. But there was one character who the events leading up to his death were like you wouldn't think such little things would lead up to a guy's death and his friends felt so guilty about it after but you're also like yeah they were idiots but how were they supposed to know that would cause him to die so yeah that that was actually a really really good scene um, there's this fan video made about shimanting and chanting die uh, from the Lana Del Rey song, Young and Beautiful. Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Yes, he will not marry him. I shipped them so hard. I shipped them more than the main characters. And the main characters are dating in real life. <laughs> That's so much I shipped Shenting Bai and Shumanding. I really, really liked their relationship and I loved how there was something in their past that made her feel... Uh, his family went bankrupt and her father treated them bad so she always felt guilty about that and wondered if he loved her in order to get revenge uh, yeah so we're, we're hearing that she's embarrassed about it but then when we hear things from his perspective his memory from back then was when people were making fun of him and she being this tiny little girl pulls her father's sword and threatens to cut them all up if they make if they bully him anymore and that's what he remembers and that's why he loves how energetic she is and i really liked those little things that's why i wished we had gotten to see more of the two of them on screen <sighs> but we got to see all the other stuff i actually think this show could have been longer but i know there's some ban on the number of episodes in china so oh one last thing one last problem injuries don't stick i don't like it when they hurt the characters and then they walk it off you can't walk off a bullet wound shen jun shan but <sighs> those things are all minor i really 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 enjoyed this show so if you are even the slightest bit tempted to give this show a chance even if it's just because the opening credits song amazing then i suggest you watch it definitely 100 percent give this a watch thanks for sticking through this video of just me gushing about a show i will see you in another video hopefully soon later